Switch to full screen in the perspective view window. Click on the connection tab under the ribbon menu. Turn off the draw in fast mode by clicking the draw in fast mode command. Click the column foundation connection, stiff and base plate, command. Click on the steel column at the D1 axis intersection. The stiff and base plate connection dialog will open, that defined to the steel column. Remove the stiffeners plates defined for primary and secondary direction. Click the plates and grout tab. Enter T20 mm as the plate thickness value under the main plate section. Enter the plate dimensions as B260 mm and H220 mm. Uncheck the grout option. Uncheck the cast plate option. Click the anchorage tab. Enter 2 as the primary direction anchor number value. Enter the anchor interval in the primary direction D1 190 mm. Enter 2 as the secondary direction anchor number value. Enter the anchor interval in the secondary direction D2 150 mm. Click the hole and bolt properties button in the bolt properties section. Select M12 as the bolt size and ISO 8.8 .8 as the bolt grade. Click the OK button to close the dialog. Click on the welds tab. Enter the values of 5 mm in the weld size lines. Click on the Add to Favorites command the under the favorites. Give connection to column base plate one name. Click the OK button to close the window. Click the OK button to close the dialog. Activate the draw in fast mode under the connection tab in the ribbon menu. Click on the steel columns to define the combination name column base plate 1. Press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the command. Turn off the draw in fast mode by clicking the draw in fast mode command. Click the welded connection command under the experimentals heading. It will read one in the mouse pointer. Click on the steel column. Click the right mouse button. It will read two in the mouse pointer. Click on the steel beam. Click the right mouse button. The welded connection settings dialog will open. Click on the welds tab. Enter the size values as 3 mm and select the site weld option. Click on the Add to Favorites command the under the favorites. Give connection to weld one name and click OK to close the window. Click the OK button to close the dialog. Activate the draw in fast mode under the connection tab in the ribbon menu. It will read one in the mouse pointer. Click on the steel column. Click the right mouse button. It will read two in the mouse pointer. Click on the steel beam. Click the right mouse button. Apply similar operations to all column beam connections. Press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the command. Click on the concrete tab. Click the analysis design command. Do you want to perform analysis? Question will be asked. Click the yes button. Wait for the analysis to complete in the analysis status window. After the analysis is complete, click the OK button to close the window. Open the right-click menu in the Visualization window. Click on the Structural Visualization Options line. Select Connection Failures from the Steel Design tab Design Output list. The connection design results will be displayed in the Visualization window. Insufficient connections are indicated by red dots, and adequate connections by green dots.